In this video, we're going to talk about page breaks and how we can utilize those in Excel. So first, we should talk about why we're using a page break or why we would want to use one. So what I have here is just a really small uh, basic pivot table. We're just going to go take a look at print preview. So you can see in print preview, it's just a one page printout, nothing fancy, but you see expenses and um, incomes are printed on what the first page because everything fits on a page. Well, let's just say as an example, I actually wanted my incomes to print on the next page to break it up. Well, that is what we, that is where we would use a page break. So to do this, you can actually do this a couple ways um, using different views, but I'm just going to use the normal view here and inserting a page break. So the key is always remember that when you insert the page break, it inserts it above the cell you have selected. So if I want this income title and everything below it to be on the next page down, I would need to click on it because it's going to put the page break in between rows 10 and 11. So when you've clicked on it, you simply go to your page layout tab and there's an option here called breaks. And you click it and choose insert page break. You can actually see it's very faint, but it puts a solid line above it. And now when we go check that printout, I can see that on my first page, it has all my expense figures and on the next page down, there are all my incomes. So you can use page breaks to force information onto subsequent pages in Excel, much like we do in Word. One thing of course is how to remove them. Now, if you want to remove an individual page break, you would have to go back to the row that the, where you were when you inserted the page break. So I have to click back on row 11 here. I go to breaks and I can say remove page break and that's going to remove it. If I simply wanted to remove all of them, if you inserted a whole bunch of page breaks, you can again go to the page layout tab, click the breaks button and then you can say reset all page breaks and that's going to remove them all and go back to your default page breaks which are indicated by these dotted lines. 